Hello everyone, it's Gladius. Today we're breaking down the mining profession. We're gonna go over exactly what stats are gonna be most beneficial to miners, optimized gear for miners, and then finally a starter build that's gonna get you started with mining while mounted as well as empowering elemental ore so that you're able to get special effects while gathering. Before we get into it, if you decide at the end of this video that this was helpful to you in some way, please heroic strike that like button. And if you want to stay up to date with WoW content in the future, please slam the subscribe. All right, let's get into it. So before we get into specifics with the specialization, let's talk a little bit about mining secondary stats. Your profession items are either going to have deafness, finesse, or perception on them. Deafness speeds up your mining. You can think of it just how quickly you're able to extract ore from a node. Finesse allows you to actually find more inside of a node. Finally, Perception helps you find the more rare reagents inside of the node. The clear standout of these three, for me at least, is Perception. Perception allows you to find those rare reagents. And I know from experience with blacksmithing, one of my major hangups is not getting enough Kazerite ore. So if I can extract more Kazerite ore by having higher Perception, then that's what I'm going to focus on. Just looking at the other two, Deafness and Finesse, Deafness Having a faster mining speed is nice, it feels nice, but overall I feel like finesse is going to be way more valuable, and we'll get more into that when we get into the specialization tree. Alright, now that we have a general understanding of what each of these stats do, we know walking into this, perception is going to be very important for us to get. So we're going to take a look at the specialization tree and see how we can get more of that. If we look at mining process first, this is going to be the first specialization that we're actually going to learn. Let's take a look at some of the things that come along with it. In mining, you can think of skill as a requirement for you to extract certain materials from a node. The higher skill you are, the higher chance you have at finding rare and more rare materials inside of the node. Just like with crafting, skill is very important in determining the outcome of your gathering. So just by learning this specialization, we're going to gain 10 skill. That's very nice. It gives us a nice head start on moving into uh, finding better and better materials. Let's learn this first specialization. If we're looking at this first node called mining process, we're going to go on over to the right here, and we're going to take a look at what the ultimate reward is for the mining process. It says, having mastered the process of mining, you are now able to gather ore while mounted on the Dragon Isle. This will save you a lot of time, as you don't have to get off your mount when you're mining a node. So that's right. First thing we're going to do is 35 points into the mining process. Now notice, when we get to 10, though, we're able to unlock a subspecialization of our choice. We get to pick between sorting. The sorting node focuses on finesse, and finesse is nice. But remember, it's not our number one stat. Ah, surveying. This one is going to give us perception and focuses on perception. And we've mentioned before, extracting the rarest materials from, from our deposits is very important. And then just so we looked at all of them, industrialization, this one's going to focus on deafness. And again, remember, I don't prioritize this as much. This is just the speed at which you're able to get through your nodes. So you might have guessed it. We're going to go ahead and click on surveying. Surveying is going to be our specialization. Now, just like with the crafting ones, you don't have to put any points into this to gain the benefit. Make sure you learn the specialization as soon as it's open, because it's going to give you an extra 15 perception just by clicking a button. It's pretty nice. There we go. Now let's jump back to what we were doing. Let's keep going through the mining process. Okay, we're at our second specialization, because we already unlocked surveying, we get to pick between sorting and industrialization. Now remember our priority. We're very interested in getting perception and finesse was our second choice. This is gonna help us with quantity of ore. All right, back to it again. We're gonna keep hitting the mining process because we wanna to get to that 35 rank. All right, now once we reach level 30, we're able to pick another subspecialization. Let's go ahead and grab industrialization. Having the extra deafness definitely doesn't hurt. We just aren't prioritizing it. Just make sure to go ahead and learn that when it unlocks. And once again, back to the mining process. All right, very nice. So now we're able to mine while we're sitting on our mount. Fantastic. 
Now it's important to note, at some point you're gonna be able to pick a secondary. I decided to go for mastering the elements because this specialization is actually gonna give you a pretty cool skill you can use that allows you to empower the node you're about to mine. Like for example, if you empower a Titan touched node, it's gonna open up a portal that instantly teleports you to the next ore within a distance. The earth empowered nodes are gonna explode into four to five smaller nodes that you're then able to mine, increasing the yield by quite a bit. The fire node is gonna summon a fire elemental that you're then able to kill and get more rousing fire. It's a pretty cool spell and I made a lot of use of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and learn this, mastering the elements as my second specialization. Now I'm still in the mining process when applying knowledge. Just make sure to grab this as soon as you're able to so you can immediately start using that extra effect. All right, as we continue, surveying is what I'm gonna start focusing on now. Because once again, we're after that perception. That's our number one favorite stat here. We're gonna max this out completely. Just to give you a summary of what you get, you get extra perception nodes and skill nodes all along the way. Perception and skill are exactly the two things we want. Finally, by reaching the end, you have a chance to find a rare illuminated diamond when mining rich ore deposits. Now you may be able to guess this, but now that we've fin finished getting all of the perception we can out of the mining process, now we're gonna start picking up our finesse. Finesse is a strong secondary attribute because it lets us extract more ore from our nodes. We're gonna max out sorting for that reason. You're gonna get finesse and skill all along the way. And then finally, upon reaching the end, your finesse is empowered and gives you even more. You gain even more benefit from finesse. So this is a really nice one to finish out and prioritize second. This is a great starting point. And the next decisions you make in your specialization tree are gonna depend on the professions that you have. Drakthir stand out as being a very good gathering alt. The reason for that is because of this passive here called discerning eye. Increases your perception by 2%, so again, perception is a major priority in gathering professions because it helps us find those very rare reagents that end up being your bottleneck when it comes to your higher end crafts. The same rule applies when we're talking about mining gear. We're looking for gear that has perception on it. So your ore satchel slot and your helmet slot are both gonna have set attributes based on the recipe. So you're always gonna have some value of finesse on your ore satchel, and you're always gonna have some value of deafness and perception. Of course, the higher item level, the more of those secondary stats you get on the item. You can provide a missive to guarantee the secondary stat that you get on your mining tool. And then you can enchant it further with more perception. All right, well, I hope this video helped you today. If it did, please heroic strike that like button. And if you wanna stay up to date with WoW content in the future, please slam the subscribe. All right, thanks for your time today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.